What is going on guys, it's Wava here, and this is actually Waffle from the Future. Uh, I just recorded this video, and I, I mentioned something at the end of this video that I kind of want to mention at the beginning of this video. That way more of you guys see it and, and know about it, but if you pause the video, there's going to be a white circle with an eye on the top right corner of the screen. If you click on that eye, you can actually cast your vote on where I should go for my next adventure. You guys remember at the end of last episode, I actually got a, a woodland explorer map and an ocean explorer map, and I asked you guys, like, which one should I go to? But I completely I forgot that I can make polls and actually have you guys vote on which one I should do. So just wanted to mention that at the beginning of this video. Be sure to pause the video, click the eye on the white circle on the top right corner of the screen, cast your vote on which adventure we should go on next, the Woodland Mansion or the Ocean Dungeon. So that's all I wanted to mention at the beginning of this video. Now back to Waffle in the Past with the actual intro to this video. What is going on guys, it's Wava here, and welcome back to some more Minecraft Hardcore Season 1. Now last time we left off, we finally breeded those villagers together and finally figured out that problem. I guess we're just going to have to spam a bunch of beds inside there, huh? So I'll, I'll probably make like a trillion more beds and just kind of stack them on top of each other. And have, maybe I'll build a whole building out of beds or something. <laughs> uh, that, that sounds like something I'll do. But uh, yeah, we, we finally had a kid out of these guys, and I think the kid grew up since we last left off, and I did let him out of the uh, of the area there, and he became a, uh, a librarian, I think, right? Is that what he, yeah, he's a librarian, so that's awesome. That's that's why we made the lectern over here, so we turn into a librarian, and he currently has a trade 24 paper for one emerald. So, or he has a discounted trade right there. I wonder why, we haven't traded with him yet. I don't think I have, I might have though. No, 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 yeah, there's no XP right there, so I wonder why he's giving us a uh, discount already. It's kind of interesting. Maybe because I traded with his parents or something like that? I don't know. Either way, uh, we can do that. We do have a sugarcane farm over here, and we do have a lot of, uh, almost said reeds, but sugar canes that I can turn into paper. But uh, 22 or so of that per trade, that's going to take quite a lot of paper. I do have a lot of sugarcane there, though, so I guess we could try. Let's see. How many can I get? We have almost two stacks right there, that's pretty good, not too bad. Let's go see if we can uh, trade with him. Well, oh yeah, we have uh, even more sugar oh, and even more right there. <laughs> Just growing right in front of my face. Let's uh, grab the rest of these, see if we can get a little bit more paper out of these. And uh, maybe get a little bit more trades out of that one, guys. So we have seven sugarcane in total, and we have another six or so paper right there. Noise. Alright, let's go see if we can trade with that guy and get him leveled up and see if he's going to give us any enchanted books and stuff. And if so, are they going to be good enchanted books? I hope so, right? Uh, anyways, emerald right there, and we have enough for like two more trades, right? Yeah, we have four emeralds and we have to do one more trade. Man, we're seven papers short though. We're probably gonna, I, I could probably just go adventuring around and find uh, enough sugar cane for that just to get one more trade out of them, but I just want to see what we're going to get out of that enchanting book. Speaking of enchanting and stuff, I did see you guys' comments saying, hey, your enchanted armor, you need to heck and repair that, especially if you're going to go on an adventure to possibly go to either the Woodland Mansion or the uh, Ocean uh, Water Temple or whatever that's called. So definitely want to repair my heck and armor. Like, look at that thing. 97 durability out of 528. Definitely want to repair that. And I did go mining between this episode and last episode and found, I think, four diamonds. So I do want to see if we repair our chest piece as well as have four diamonds left over to make boots uh, diamond boots because right now we have iron boots we don't we don't have any uh we, we're all diamond all enchanted diamond except for our just regular stock diamond or uh, regular stock iron boots down there so definitely want to see if we can get some diamond boots down there you guys let's see if we can oh god <laughs> 33 levels to I'm only level 35 only level 35 I'll have two levels left over if I uh if I try and oh god that's milk <laughs> if I try and uh, repair that up to Almost full, that's going to be 34 levels. Ooh. And I do want to make those diamond boots, so... What is that durability if I have only two diamonds there? 361 out of 528. That's pretty good, honestly. Mmm. Let's do that. There you go. Repair. At least it's not almost broken, right? Like, if we're going to go on a heckin' adventure to, to fight mobs and stuff like that, I definitely want to have this thing repaired at least past the halfway point at the very least, right? But uh, I do want to give this thing some unbreaking and stuff here in the future. Maybe I'll enchant a book and see if we can actually get that here, but uh, we only have two levels right now, so maybe I'll use those two levels to try and uh, enchant a diamond, uh, pair of diamond boots. Let's see if we can do that, though. So there we go, we have the diamond boots right there. Uh, oh yeah, and then I move the, the chest cells right here that had the lapis inside of it. Move that inside of here just for convenience sake, so let's grab some of the lapis, and let's put, uh, oh, I don't even have enough level. I need to be at least level five to do the, uh, feather falling one, oh gosh, feather falling three. Depth strider two, ooh. That'd be a good one for... If we do the water temple, you guys, because that's where you just walk on the ground or uh, walk on the ocean floor, right? But then again, 
would that be detrimental if I, if if I'm just going across like a river or something like that? I wouldn't be able to like swim across the river, right? Like I'd actually just be walking at the bottom of the river. So kind of a good and bad thing right there. Would I want to apply that to diamond boots? Or would I rather apply that to like diamond or uh, iron boots or something like that? You know, and maybe instead of having depth strider to diamond boots, maybe I'll put feather falling three on it instead. I only need to be. Uh, I, I could go to the Nether real quick, get a bunch of uh Nether quartz, get up to that level eleven pretty quickly. Hmm. Now let's let, let's try that again, but with a fresh set of iron boots. See if we can get that depth strider there. So there you go, and then put some little Okay, so we have the exact same enchantments. Interesting. I thought it might have changed because we're going from a different set of boots to another. But yeah, we still have depth strider two. I don't know if that's going to go away if I put uh, Feather Falling 3. That's pretty good, Feather Falling 3, like, especially if I'm, like, exploring mountains and stuff like that. I'll be able to fall off, like, pff, I don't know what the, how many blocks I could fall off before taking damage, but, you know, a lot more than normal, right, golly? But uh, I, I wonder if we put Feather Falling 3 on these diamond boots. Would this Depth Strider 2 still be there so I can put them on the iron boots? Perhaps. So I may have to pause a recording here and, uh, yeah, let's keep those regular iron boots for right now. I'm gonna have to pause, go to the nether, go go get leveled up and stuff real quick. Let's put the lapis real quick. And, uh, did I do anything else between this episode and last episode? I don't remember. Oh yeah, we have some more sugarcane over here. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I did, uh, I don't think I mentioned this yet. But every time this chest over here fills up with eggs, you know, from the chickens over here, uh, just laying eggs randomly, I think every time this fills up with eggs, I'm gonna kill all the chickens over here, and then throw down all the eggs. So that's what I did between this episode and last episode, I slaughtered all the chickens that were inside of here, and then just emptied this whole entire chest full of eggs. And every chicken inside of here got hatched from all those eggs. How many is that? So 16 per stack, 3 times, what is that, 9 down there? So 27 times 16, that's how many eggs I had, and then I I just threw them all down and got this many chickens. So I think that's a pretty valid strategy, you guys. And of course, we got, thanks to my uh, fire aspect sword, got a bunch of cooked chicken out of that, too. So that's awesome. All right. Well, it is nighttime right now, so might as well go to bed, roll, lickety split. Oh, yeah. And if we do go on an adventure, which we will be, I'm like, I'm, I'm basically going to be preparing for an adventure right now. Definitely want to remember to get an extra bed. Speaking of beds, we do have a lot of wool over here. Uh, I might just make a bunch of extra heckin' beds and then try and uh, breed those villagers together some more. So let's, let's get a bunch of the fun colored wools over there and make a bunch of colorful beds and then just stuff them inside that uh, that breeding house over there. So I don't think we have a pink bed just yet, so let's get a pink bed. There we go. And I'm pretty sure we have purple, yellow, blue, green. So I guess we'll just have repeats then, huh? Uh, do we have ink sacks? I don't know if we have ink sacks to get a black. Uh, I'm not seeing any right there. And of course, I think we have squid over there, so I can just go kill those real quick and get a ink sack if I really want to, but I think we're fine right now. Oh yeah, you guys were saying, if, I, if I'm going to go to the underwater temple, definitely want to see if I could rip, or, uh, enchant my turtle helmet. There it is right there, turtle shell helmet. See if we can get like respiration two or something like that on there. Oh gosh. Oh, it's a villager over there. I thought it was like a skeleton or something random. <laughs> but I do want to see what, what what enchantments this turtle shell is going to give us. So protection three, unbreaking two, fire protection one. Honestly, that's kind of, that's kind of uh, counterintuitive there. Like if I'm going to be underwater, I'm not I'm not going to need any protection for fire, right? But unbreaking two, that's pretty decent. Protection three, that's pretty good. Yeah, I don't have respiration there, so I may have to resort to enchanting books and just getting respiration that away, you know, so. Speaking of such, do we have leather over here? I don't think we do, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to kill some heckin' cows and stuff to get some leather and make some books, you guys. So that'll suck, but I think we might have enough sugar cane now to go do one final trade with that one uh, librarian villager and see what he's going to give us, speaking of enchantments. Hopefully he's going to give us a good enchantment book, you guys, so here we go. There's that, and I think we have exactly enough paper, right? Yeah, we have 23 paper right there. I think he needs either 21 or 22 paper per trade. So let's just go trade this with him. And, uh, oh yeah, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, but yeah, I did make another grind, or, uh, stone cutter? Yeah, stone cutter there, grindstone there, and another smoker there. So we have, like, one of every occupation here. I do want to replace this thing with something else, because this is a crafting table, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that... Oh yeah, look at that, he's got his emeralds out, he's ready to trade. I don't think that's, uh, going to give any villagers any, uh... Oh, we need one more, one more paper, really? <laughs> oh no, let's go, let's go see if we have enough sugar cane, jeez. Ah, just one paper short, that guy is really picky. Do we have enough, yeah, we, okay, we have three uh, sugar cane right there, that's perfect. <laughs> but I'm probably gonna end up pausing and recording here in just a bit, going to the nether. Uh, oh yeah, we do get XP from training with these guys too, so perhaps I'll go around and see if I can trade with more of these guys and uh, get some XP that way. So speaking of such, oh wow, that's a lot of level, or uh, XP we just got right there, not bad. So let's just wait a minute. For him to get uh, little little sparkles to come out of it. Oh, there we go. Or little squiggles. And uh, we got one emerald for a lantern. Eh, it could be better. Four books for an emerald. That's honestly... Is that cheaper than the 24 uh, 
paper because you need three yeah because you're gonna need uh, 12 paper to get the uh, book right there right so that's that's a lot cheaper than 24 so yeah you, you get two emeralds for the same amount of paper you need to get one emerald right there so that's pretty good honestly maybe i'll do the emerald for lantern trade right there i'm like i definitely do need to use lanterns more often you guys oh man look at how little xp that does golly but i do have a lot of uh, emeralds though so that's pretty good oh and by the way i did trade with the uh, farmer guy quite substantially off camera and you guys remember he did trade us uh, one emerald for four apples i got a ton of apples same thing with the pumpkin pies i did that as well got a bunch of pumpkin pies so we're gonna have a lot of food for this upcoming adventure you guys and because uh he, he ran out of trades for both apples and pumpkin pies i guess he came over to the compost bin and restocked on pumpkin pumpkin pies and apples there and he unlocked the uh suspicious stews down here one uh one emerald for one suspicious stew i do want to see how many uh that's pretty good xp right there maybe i'll get some suspicious, suspicious stew Let's see what we'll get out of those. Let's see if we level up one more time and see if we can get anything good. I think we have to do one more trade. So let's do let's do pumpkin pies for that last trade. There we go. Not bad. All right. Let's see what he's going to get for this next trade as he gets little squiggles to come out of him. And he has oh man, golden carrots, glistering. Wait, hold on. I forget what enchant or uh, not enchantment, but what potion you need uh, glistering melons for. Because remember, we don't have any watermelons right now. And yeah, look at that. He gives us a discount. So three melons for one emerald. Unfortunately, I still don't have any watermelons. I need to find like a dungeon or something like that that will give me melon seeds, right? But uh, I don't know if you get watermelon seeds from a glistering melon slice, though. But I might want to get that, you guys. Because that, that might be for like either a health potion or a regen potion or something like that. And that'd be really, really good for uh, this upcoming adventure, you know, if, if I'm in an emergency situation, I'm about to heck and die or something like that, then I'll just be able to throw down a, a few potions and just heal up instantly, you know, so that'd be pretty good. Let's go throw this, uh, this bed inside of that breeding area over there, and uh, I suppose I'll try and breed those villagers one more time that are inside there. I do believe we have that, uh, there we go, carrots, let's get some carrots. I do, we, uh, I do believe we have the what's he called? The cartographer inside there? And he's maxed out, so I don't think he's going to give us any more, uh, any more trades, unfortunately, right? So if I go over here, no, he's not, but he can be maxed out pretty soon, I'm pretty sure, right? So hopefully if we do one more tree with him, hopefully he gives us either like a desert temple or something like that, a map to one of those, you know? That way we have like the whole set, woodland mansion, ocean explorer, and like a desert temple. That'd be pretty cool, so. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Off camera, I did, uh, I did smelt a lot of glass, and uh, I don't even think I mentioned this yet, but I made five or four blast furnaces over here and two regular furnaces. So this is really, really fast for us melting down like ingots and stuff like that. And uh, I've got a bunch of glass up there in those furnaces. So let's make ourselves a bunch of uh, glass panes. I don't know how many more trades you could do, but let's get one more stack right there. That should be pretty good. And let's put up the extra glass over there. And let's go see if we can trade with that cartographer until he gets maxed out. Because I'm pretty sure expert thought that was the, uh, the maxed out thing, but no. There must be, oh gosh, there must be one more above that. So let's, let's trade with him real quick. And yeah, let's do that trade. And that's not. A, oh man, uh, he needs to go. He needs to go to his thing to get that trade back. Hmm. Hold on. I guess I'll. Uh, there you go. He needs. I think he needs to have access to his cartography table to replenish his. Uh, there you go. Here you go. Let me push you out of there because I don't want to go grab my car. But uh, yeah, he he doesn't have any more trades for that uh, glass panes thing anymore. So definitely want to max this guy out and see if we get that uh, that other map. That'd be really good, but uh, unfortunately, this guy doesn't want to hack and cooperate. <laughs> Maybe I'll try and breathe these guys real quick just while they're inside here, right? So let me just place down the bed. There we go. And can I place a bed on a bed? Hey, I can! Look at that! We got bunk beds over here! I wonder if they could sleep in that, though. I wonder if they could sleep with a bed on top of it. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> oh, look at that! He's, he's jumping on top of that bed, too! I know it's... You guys want some carrots? Because I got carrots over here, so uh, 16 carrots right there. Let me get uh, 16 carrots for you. And then I'll just leave you guys alone. So, uh, there you go. Grab those carrots. Okay, they grab the carrots. That's good. Now, they go and do what they need to do. Because I had an, an extra bed in there. Hearts. Any hearts above them? Hey, look at that. We got hearts. Any frustration symbols? Not seeing any just yet. Hopefully, this is going to be a success, you guys. And I guess every time we breed these guys together... Oh, yep, still hearts. Okay, that's good. Uh, I guess we'll just have to add an extra bed, so that'll be pretty cool. Pretty. Oh, oh, I think we have another kid! I think we have another kid already! Uh, I heard a high-pitched, huh? Oh, there it is right there! Hey, look at that, we got another kid! Okay, so let's get the uh, cartographer and the kid out of there. 
And then of course the cartographer can replenish that uh, that one trade for his glass panes. And of course the kid, I'm pretty sure you guys commented saying, yeah, the kid needs to be out of the breeding area in order to uh, to breed more villagers together. So this guy needs to go to his cartography table and replenish all his uh, heckin' stuff. These guys are still having a party over here though. I definitely do need to fill that in with like cobblestone just to make sure they don't drown, right? <laughs> so let's grab some cobbledy cobble and dead coral block right there, whoops. <laughs> let's grab some cobbledy cobble over here and uh, there you go. All right. So I can keep on partying over here by the, uh, by the thing. May are they trying to reach the bell? I don't know, maybe they're trying to ring the bell to turn on post notifications, so they'll get a notification every time I upload a video. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's see what these other guys- Oh yeah, speaking of bells, why don't you guys, uh, trade with the apprentice- or, uh, the weaponsmith over here. He'll give you a bell for 36 emeralds, golly. <laughs> Is this guy re Yeah, he still hasn't replenished just yet. I think he needs to go to his cartography table, so hurry up over there, mister. Anyways, I need, I need to pause the recording. I, I've been to oh yeah, look at that, we did trades. We're up to almost level 6, so that's pretty good. We just need to hit level, I think, 11, right? And we'll be able to get the, uh, the Feather Falling 3, I believe, uh, enchantment on those diamond boots. So that'd be pretty good. But for right now, let me just pause the recording, uh, head on over to the nether, get a bunch of nether quartz, and before I go, let me get some suspicious st Oh god! Blinding? Yeah, we got blinding for three seconds, okay. Man, whoa, everything looked like a nuclear apocalypse right there, you guys. That was kind of crazy. <laughs> Anyways, let me get another suspicious dude. What are we going to get? Anything good? Anything bad? Another one right there. Literally the same thing twice in a row. What in the world? Or maybe the same suspicious stew that we traded three times is going to give me the same effect. Well, I can't check it a third time because I don't have enough uh, hunger for me to get another uh, munching of suspicious stew, so that's kind of unfortunate. But let me put the glass panes up inside there, the paper up over here, and I'm going to pause the recording, head on over to the nether, do some mining. I uh, might as well get some iron uh, iron picks just so I don't waste my diamond, right? Especially because it's only a half-door ability. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit, where we're going to get some feather falling enchantments on our brand new pair of diamond boots. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Alright guys, back, just got back from the nether, and now I've got, a uh, 26 levels, almost level 27 right now, so that's awesome. Anyways, let's grab some lapis over here, I did notice I, I left some lapis over there when it belongs over here, so let's grab some, go over here, and let's go enchant these diamond boots with the, uh, what was it, the Feather Falling 3 or 2, I forget, let me see, Feather Falling 3, that's good. Now let's enchant those, and then let's see, are we gonna still have Depth Strider? No! Ooh, that sucks. Okay, so it, I guess it doesn't stay there. That sucks. Either way, we're, we're still able to get the uh, the tier 3 enchantment there, because I did get a, a little bit extra levels there, just to make sure I could still get the tier 3 there, so that's always good for uh, if I was able to have the Depth Strider 2, but unfortunately it's not there anymore. Man! Well, either way, I did look up the uh, the recipe you guys know I was talking about the uh, like the glistening melon or whatever glistening melon or whatever and I was like oh oh that must be for uh, like a health potion or something like that well yeah it is it, it actually is for a health potion I need to go find that one villager the farmer guy I think he was right and let's go trade with him and let's actually make some glistening melon uh here we go emeralds right there and let's actually go make some uh, some health potions out of that so here he is over here oh yeah let's check on the cartographer yeah look at that okay so he can trade uh, with with the uh, the glass panes again so that's good so it does confirm yeah they do need to go to their like specific block or whatever their work block whatever you want to call that thing <laughs> and actually go uh work on that and uh replenish their their inventory over there for trades so definitely want to like make sure like if, if if there's someone over there that has a good trade definitely want to make sure that they uh can actually replenish their trades and stuff over time just like this guy did so there we go let's get a bunch of emeralds out of him and he's still short of being able to give us the next uh the next trade he's i guess we can go make some more uh some more uh, whatever you want to call those uh glass panes i guess we can make a few more of those but i do want to trade with this guy to get some glistering melons so let's definitely get some of those so there we go we get three per trade so that's pretty decent oh he's master so we can't even trade with him anymore so this guy is maxed out just like the other guy was uh trying to get maxed out so yeah let, let, let's get a few of those so we have nine right now, that's good. I assume if you keep trading with that, this guy, he'll just give you better and better discounts and stuff, instead of unlocking new trades, so that kind of sucks that we can't uh, get anything else out of the farmer. But now, we need to get some, oh yeah, speaking of glass, glass panes and stuff, we're gonna need to make some bottles, and I think, uh, oh yeah, okay, that's still how you make it, okay, so that's good. Let's get, uh, let's get six of those, let's go fill it up over at the well here in just a bit. Let's get some more uh, glass panes, I don't know, three more crafts, or uh, that should be four more uh, trades, right? Four more trades, that should be enough to max that guy out. And to hopefully get the last trade out of the, the cartographer over here, right? And let's see, let's give you the glass panes, there you go. And, oh, we only need to do like two more. Okay, well he's maxed out now, so I guess I can keep the rest of the, uh, the glass panes for if I'm gonna build anything, right? Okay, he is master now, so let's see. Banner Pattern Globe. Uh... 
Is that? I don't know. Uh, I guess I'm like I guess I could buy a banner, banner and maybe go to like a loom or something like that. So we could search out. Yeah, that's that's one of the uh, the other things that we could place down a loom, and I I guess decorate the banner with this glow pattern. I don't know if I really want that, but I, I'd rather have had a, another explorer map. But I, I guess maybe there's only woodland and ocean explorer maps. Maybe there's not a desert explorer map. I wish there was though. That'd be pretty cool though. But uh, oh yeah, let's put up the, uh, the emeralds there. But uh, let's go to I think this chest. Yes, this one had the nether wart inside of it. I think oh yeah, and let's go fill up the glass bottles as well. Probably want to want to make a. Uh, I'll probably move the uh, either I'll make an infinite water pool over there or I'll move the uh, brewing stand over here or something like that. I don't know. But uh, and we need to make like a mundane potion or something like that out of these, right? And I think that's blaze powder right there that we need to to, to power that. So do we even have blaze powder? Oh man, I didn't think about that. Yeah, because I think that is the thing that we need to actually power the the brewing stand. So I may I might have to go back to that nether fortress, you guys. We may have to go back there, but I, I believe we're, what we have to do now is just put nether warts there. It'll turn into like a mundane potion or whatever, you know? And then after that, we'll apply the glistering melons. And then I think, what do we do? Gunpowder to make it uh, throwable? That way I could just throw it on the ground and make it instant, instantly heal me up, you know? In case I'm like in a very, very sticky situation and I need to heal up like right now. But of course, it wouldn't be as effective. It wouldn't be able to heal you up quite as much if I remember correctly, right? So. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go back to the nether, you guys. We're going to have to go back and, and kill some heckin' blazes. We do have sharpness 3 on our sword. I was thinking about, uh, maybe make- Oh gosh, what in the world? Uh, why am I getting the local brewery thing? I have no idea. I'm like, these are just empty water bottles. <laughs> maybe I, uh, let's make a chest and put it right next to that and put, uh, like, empty water bottles and, and other, like, enchanting materials inside of that, you know? So, let's get ourselves some, uh, oh gosh, there's already planks up here. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's get like eight planks, get one chest, fill it all up with like nether warts, and uh, let's put it behind that just so it's kind of out of the way. Uh, nether warts and water bottles and, and glistering melons and, and gunpowder and stuff like that, you know? So let's go put up the uh, the iron boots over here, and I guess we'll go uh, to the nether real quick, you guys. And uh, let's put up the glass panes as well. And uh, the extra iron picks, there we go. And the emeralds, we don't need those right now. And the Woodland Explore map, I guess we'll put the Explore maps up for right now just to have a little bit of inventory space. Pumpkin pies, definitely want to keep those. Suspicious stew, that's probably giving me, giving me blind. Yep, blindness again. <laughs> well, that's the last of those. Yeah, every every suspicious stew I had in my inventory gave me heckin' blindness, so that kind of sucks. But uh, now we need to go to the heckin' nether. I don't know what we had last time we went to the nether, you guys. Like, in terms of, like, uh, our sword or armor or anything like that, but we should be able to... Oh, yeah, and then... Oh, yeah, ice uh, water bucket doesn't work in the nether, right? So yeah, this would be kind of pointless to go in the nether and use a heckin' water bucket to, to put out any flames, but we should be a lot more prepared nowadays to fight blazes than we were previously, because I'm pretty sure we had probably just iron armor, maybe a diamond sword at the time, and I don't know, that might have been it. <laughs> well, I don't know if we would have had any diamond armor, let alone enchanted diamond armor at the time, because I feel like that was actually pretty decently early in the series, right? Let's go back down here. We haven't visited the, uh... Oh, yeah, here's the staircase. Definitely want to make this out of the cobblestone. That way it can get blown up by, uh, ghasts and stuff, right? Let's go down here. Let's go pay the heckin' blaze a visit. Now, remember, we did actually find a blaze spawner, so... Uh, we can find, like, free-roaming blazes, but also... Oh, yeah, we already looted all the chests, too. Uh, we could find, like, free-roaming blazes or... Try and, like, actually go to the spawner, but I forget exactly where... Oh, yeah, didn't we go down? Oh, no, this isn't it, but I think we did go down, eventually, down a staircase. Oh, yeah, I think it'll, yeah, we killed, like, one blaze that was, like, right here, right? Yeah, this is where we fenced it off and everything. Yeah, and then is this, oh, gosh, you guys see how fast I just broke that cheese? But uh, I think down here might have been the blaze spawner. So let's go down here. Let's get, oh, yeah, let's get our shield out, too. Definitely want, oh, yeah, I might want to make a new shield whenever we go out on, a, on an adventure. Yeah, here it is right here. Here's where we, uh, kind of fenced this off. Or blocked it off or whatever, you know? But definitely want to make an extra shield here in the future. I don't know if there's actually shield enchantments. I might have to look into that, you guys. But, uh, let's place down some torches so it's not pitch and black. Where is the, uh... Wasn't the spawner, like, right here? Or maybe I was thinking of something else. Uh, maybe it was just a random blaze that was just... Oh, whoa. I am hearing a magma slime or magma cube, whatever the technical name is. I think we explored. Yeah, we didn't explore over here, so let's see what's inside of this chest. Ooh, two iron horse armors. Not bad. Let's see what this is. Is this fenced off? Uh, technically, I guess it is. <laughs> I guess that's one way to get around uh, in a circle right there, or a square, because it's Minecraft, right? But we do have Pikmin just kind of groaning over there, so definitely don't want to heck and kill them. Oh yeah, was it over here? I don't think it. I don't think we went this far, did we? 
Well, down there are some lava blocks and a pigman. I don't know what those lava. I don't know what we could do with those lava blocks, like for utility or anything like that. But oh my! Oh, even more down there, soul sand and stuff too. I thought we saw a blaze spawner over here. It might have just been a blaze with some like fences around him, and I thought it was a blaze spawner, but I guess not. So let's continue adventuring around here, see if we can actually find this blaze spawner, because there's got to be one for this uh this this another fortress over here, right? So. Eventually, we got, I mean, like, we saw a blaze, so surely there's a blaze a spawn or somewhere, because that blaze had to come from somewhere, right? So, it wouldn't have just spawned in randomly, unless they just spawn in randomly in, in nether fortresses, but I don't think they do, right? So, let's continue exploring around. This is kind of a... Oh, yeah, we made, like, a, a bridge here. I think we explore this way. There's no torches. Probably want to get more torches if I'm going to venture around like this, but... Yeah, nothing that way. Don't want to use the pick too much on netherrack. It's kind of a waste, but... If I'm going to be checking on something real lady split like that... Definitely gonna use the pick though, because it is gonna break that nether egg like instantly, basically, right? Uh, man, there's like nothing around here, you guys. I need to make sure I don't get lost over here too. Now, what was this? Uh, okay, I know where I'm at. Okay, and I don't. I thought I, I think didn't we see a blaze up there one time? It might have been the same one that we killed or something. But uh, oh gosh, oh it's a baby pigman up there. I thought it was like a heckin'. Something else like a wither skeleton with an enchanted sword, but I guess not. Thankfully not. But uh, if we do come across a wither skeleton, we should be a lot more prepared nowadays than previously, right? So that's going to be good. Let's place down more torches. Just fire over there. And red mushrooms. Of course, we can make mushroom stew. But uh, we have a really good amount of food like all over the place already, you guys. I don't think we need to worry about making heckin' mushroom stew, right? Let's keep looking around here. Just empty core. Oh! Blaze spawner right there. We found one. We found one. Okay. Let's just... Fence this off right now. And remember- Oh gosh. And remember, we can actually, uh... Let's do this. We, we could probably hit them with a heckin' bow. Kill them this way if they spawn in. That way they can't hit me through this. I mean- Oh, oh, oh! Is that- There's one- Oh, did I hit him right? I think- I don't know if I killed him. Ah, uh, man, there's like three of them there. I'm hitting them. I know I'm hitting them. I saw, like... Oh, yep, yeah, there you go. There's one dead. And a blaze rod. I see a blaze rod up there. There's another one dead. Keep aiming here. Another one. Man, I'm just annihilating these guys. Wow. I'm doing it from a distance strategically smart. And I'm not bragging over here either. <laughs> Let's place down a torch there. Let's get some food that will. Oh! Two blaze spawners. What? Right next to each other? Holy heck. Holy heck. <laughs> don't mind if I can do this, Ada. There you go. Oh gosh, I don't have enough. Uh... Hold on. Let's get. There you go. <laughs> I guess that's another excuse to use uh... there you go, the diamond pick on that, but. There's another one over there. I don't know. Oh, there's two. There's two right here. Let's see if we can- Oh, 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 I'm getting- Oh, well, I'm taking, like, almost no damage, though, so that's good. Two more down. There we go. More blaze rods right there. Awesome. Six blaze rods in total. All right. Well, let's keep that there. Don't want to light that up. I don't even remember if lighting up blaze spawners even prevents them from spawning. Uh, oh, there's even more right there. But yeah, we took, like, no damage right there, you guys, so might want to just heckin' go in here and just fight these guys, even though we do have a- I'm like, oh man, I'm taking like almost no damage right now. Thankfully, right? I'm not even blocking with my sword either. Sword? <laughs> with my sword either, you guys. So that's pretty good. We took two hearts of damage from like four blazes. That's nothing. <laughs> All right. Well, how many do we have? Seven blazes. We only got one blaze ride from those like four blazes right there. But either way, I'm not going to get too greedy. I'm going to fence this off. I'm going to put torches here just so I know. Hey, blaze. Oh, oh another blaze right there. Do I want to get another one? I just said I don't want to get too greedy, but it's just one lone blaze. So critical hit. Let's get another hit, boom, and he's down. Another blaze rod. It, it paid off right there in the end, you guys. Nice. All right. Well, now we have two blaze uh, spawners right next to each other. Really, really lucky right there, you guys. Really nice. All right, let's place a, a trail of torches. There you go. That way, hopefully, I'll be able to like be like, oh, man, a trail of torches right there, you guys. That probably goes to the blaze spawner. So that's good. Let's go back. And I think if I remember correctly, we need to go right here. And then, what is this? Oh, gosh. Another blaze? Wait, hold on. Did we fence this off and just leave this guy? I don't know. Hold on. Let me get some hits on him. Oh, we're getting hit by some fire right now. We need to heal up, though. We need to eat some food, but he's down. That's good. I don't remember. I thought... There must be another blaze spawner over here. That's like the exact same spot. Oh, a full stack of a uh, netherrack right there. It's like the exact same spot that we killed a blaze previously, I'm sure, right? Either way, let's go upstairs. Uh, I'm not seeing any blaze spawners up here, you guys. Like, it is pretty dark, but probably brighten it for you guys, but I'm not seeing any blaze spawners or anything up here, so I'm kind of surprised that this, unless that was the same one, I just never killed him, which 
I don't think really makes too much sense. I don't know why I wouldn't have killed it last time. Oh, look at that. Another chest. Two gold and nether, uh, nether, uh, not nether cores. Why do I keep trying to say that? <laughs> nether warts. Uh, two saddles right there. That's pretty good. Even more nether warts right there. Noise. Anything behind this, uh, nether quartz? That's actual quartz. Uh, glowstone right there. Definitely, I think, I think glowstone makes it more effective, right? If I, or a glowstone dust. I think if I add glowstone dust to a, a potion of regen or a potion of health or whatever, it makes it, like, more effective or it lasts longer or something like that, right? So let's, let's definitely grab some of those because I don't know how much glowstone dust we have at home. But let's definitely go home. Speaking of home, let's definitely go home now because we have we have the blaze rods. We have a uh, glowstone dust. We have everything we need, you guys. So don't really need to stay here if we don't need to, you know? So if I need more blaze rods, I know exactly where to come. And uh, it's pretty easy to kill them. Like, just fence it off like that and just shoot them with a bow. You guys saw it. Killed like four or five blazes or so right there and <laughs> didn't really even... Uh, Take any damage, honestly. Actually, I didn't take any damage from the actual, uh, like, sniping them down bit. But whenever I ambushed him, I still didn't really take too much damage. And I'm not you know what right now. <laughs> Anyways, oh, here's the staircase. Let's put a torch here so I know. There you go. And let's get diddly don daddle. Hopefully there's not a ghast around here. But, uh, if there is, I should be- I, I'm pretty sure I can one-shot ghast right now. I think this is a power two bow. And I'm able to one-shot him if I have a full pullback on the bow, so... Don't even need to really worry about ghast anymore, right? Anyways, let's head back to the base. Oh gosh, speed of such. Oh, there's one right there. I guess we can myth bust it, you guys. Although I don't know if we're able to compensate with those nether axe in the way. Yeah, we, we can't compensate properly with that nether axe in the way, so let's... And, oh man, I need to go up even more. And... Oh, he knows. He's aggroed. Man, I need to compensate even more, you guys. Holy heck. And yeah, look at that. Just one shot at him right now. Nice. I'm right, just grab this uh, arrow back. Let's go see if we got a gas tier out of that. Because I don't know what you need or what, what a gas tier gives you in terms of potions. But uh, definitely want to grab. Oh, yeah. And then of course. Oh, lava spilling from above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And glowstone there. You know what? Look, let's grab the glowstone. Let's grab the glowstone. Just like I said, it, I think it makes potions more potent or something like that, right? And of course, diamond pick. Should be able to. I thought. Did they change something? I'm pretty sure uh, a really high upgrade, like efficiency two or whatever, diamond pick right now should have been just blasting through this glowstone. But I guess for some reason it's not. Maybe they changed it, just like they changed uh, how glowstone dust looked right there, right? Anyways, there you go. Grab our little arrow back. Might as well. Definitely do want to come back with some uh, cobblestone to rebuild that staircase. Make sure it doesn't get demolished, especially if we're on top of it, right? Let's head back. Let's actually start making some potions, you guys. Uh, oh gosh. Oh yeah, this happened off camera. Whenever I was uh, leveling up from the Nether Quartz, I, I I finally made like a trail of torches. That way, I know exactly how to get back to our base. So it's super duper easy. Just follow the trail of torches, and then we get back to the village, and we don't have to worry about anything. Like look at it. Look at look at look at how easy this is. <laughs> I don't even look look at that straight back to the village. I don't need to worry about anything now. I, I still don't know why that spawns me in over there that Nether portal, even though I've broken that same Nether portal like two or three times now. <laughs> I don't know why it keeps like regenerating, but hey, it's basically free, uh, free obsidian, right? So maybe I'll just go break it another time, get more obsidian, make a trillion more nether portals out of it. <laughs> I know this is skidilly da da. This is one of the harder parts because I fenced off the village so well. Uh, there you go. I have to break in that way. <laughs> I, I tried to make it so nothing could break in and nothing can break out, you know. So there we go. Uh, oh yeah, we have that local brewery little achievement for some strange reason, but now we're actually going to be doing some brewery action, if you want to call it brewing, brewing. <laughs> Anyways, now we need to put uh, blaze rods. I think we get three blaze powder out of that. Two blaze powder out of that. Okay. I don't know what we did with the other one, though. But, uh, oh, wait. We uh, unlocked even more stuff right there for some reason. Anyways, blaze powder. Let's put that there. And let's put a... What am I doing? Glycerine melon. Glycerine melon, I think. So, there we go. Glycerine melon. That should give us... No. Nether... Nether warts. Yes. Nether warts. Yes. Nether warts first to get a mundane potion. Or an awkward potion, I forget exactly what the which which one it is. And then after that, we do the glistening melon slice. And then after that, I think we do glowstone dust. And then if I want to make it a throwable, then we add a, a gunpowder, right? So let's see if I remember this correctly. Oh, awkward potion. Okay, so we have that. It's not mundane, so I guess it was awkward in the end, huh? So there's that. Let's add the. I don't know. I don't know why I took the awkward potions out. Uh, let's grab the glistening melon. So if we do that, is that going to give me a health potion? Because I did look it up beforehand, and I think it was Glycerine Melon that gives you health or regen. I forget which one it is, but I think we need to make it like an awkward slash mundane first. So let's see. Is this going to work? And then if it does work, I think Glowstone Dust is going to make it even better. And then if I want to, maybe I'll make some splash ones just for why not, right? But let's see. Instant health. Okay, that's good. And I think if we do Glowstone Dust, that's going to be instant health too, right? And then, of course, like I said, uh, we can do gunpowder after that, too. So that's pretty interesting. So it does use uh, blaze powder. That's a pretty good use for the blaze powder. They didn't have that, like, 
I don't know, multiple years ago, whenever I last did a bunch of brewing stuff. But uh, that's that's pretty cool that it like powers or fuels the uh, the brewing stand like that. Cause I don't think blaze powder really had any other uses beforehand. But yeah, look at that instant health too. So that's good. Definitely want to keep those in my inventory, especially if we're going to go to a woodland mansion or an underwater uh underwater thing. So we have three instant health potions right there. I guess we'll put those up over here. Yeah. Let's actually make ourselves some splash instant health splash potions. So let's get ourselves some nether warts right there. Those are just regular, yeah, regular water bottles. What was that? Oh, I need to keep the uh, another wart. Okay, let's keep that there. And then, of course, it's going to give us a, a regular awkward potion or whatever. Let's give it a glycerine melon slice, and let's go grab some gunpowder, too. That way we can make it splash. So that way we have three regulars and three splash. And, uh, what was I doing over here? Oh, yeah, I was going to get gunpowder. So there it is right there. I think we just need one. That way it'll apply to all three of those. And then uh, maybe I'll do some more uh, oh, awkward potion. Okay, let's do glycerine melon next. Okay, there you go. And I guess we can put those up because I'm not going to be using them anymore. And then glowstone dust. Let's keep that in my inventory just so it's a splash potion of instant health too. Because it is going to get nerfed slightly, right? Whenever I do uh, make it a splash. So might as well make it uh, as good as possible. We do have uh, extra blaze rods here. I guess I'll put the extra blaze rods over in the valuable stuff chest. Saddle, I guess we'll put up in the items chest. We have two of those. Iron horse armor. Gold horse armor. Don't need that. Oh yeah, we have saddles over here. I should put the saddles over here. With the other I can horse armor. Let's grab those, and of course we can ride a pig too, but uh, we need to carry it on a stick to actually kind of command it around, so there you go, a bunch of saddles and stuff there, random uh, nether stuff, so let's put those up over on the random nether quartz, and these should be done, or that's the wrong thing, uh, yep, instant health, let's make it instant health too with a glowstone dust, let's see, glowstone, or uh, golden horse armor, let's put that up over here, there you go, noise, and let's eat that, uh, that one random cooked salmon I have in my inventory, and then of course eat some more pumpkin pie here in just a bit too, so, Anyways, oh yeah, I wonder if that kid, that kid has got to be grown up by now. I wonder what occupation he has. Let's see, or is he jobless? Or maybe he's a... Uh, he's a cartographer, he's master, yeah. Uh, where's... Oh, did he even come out of the, uh... He's still inside of the, uh, the thing! What are you doing inside of here? Well, he's still a kid, so it doesn't really matter too much. But, uh, at the same time, I don't want... We could do some illegal stuff, you guys. We could breed the kid with you-know-what. <laughs> do I want to do that? I'm like, the kid is probably going to grow up in there, and he'll still be trapped inside there, but... Golly, that's going to be, like, the most illegal thing in the galaxy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, uh, I guess we can get some more sugar cane. Sure, why not? There you go. I do, I, I do know we still have bamboo, and we still do have uh, sweetberry bushes over here I need to place down. Like, right here is the bamboo, sweetberries over here. But uh, I haven't really found a need to, to place them down, because we already have a bunch of sweetberries and a bunch of heckin', uh, like, look at that, and a bunch of bamboo over here, so I don't think we really need to place them down, right, like that, right? But there we go. Splash potion of healing, instant health to three splashes and three like uh, the ones that you have to drink. So that's pretty good right there, you guys. Do you guys have any ideas for other potions? We should. I'm like, isn't there a potion of water breathing? But like, isn't that pointless if we're going to have a, a really good helmet here in the future? I don't know, maybe. But let me know in the comments down below what other potions should we make at the brewing stand to kind of prepare us for an upcoming adventure. And speaking of an upcoming adventure, I did uh, ask guys at the end of last episode, like, which one should I do? Woodland Mansion or the underwater one, uh, the water dungeon right here. And I, I, I should have set up a poll, that way you guys can kind of cast your votes and get a more definitive answer. So I'm going to set up a poll on this video and you guys can cast your votes on which one we should go to. So. Click the little eye on the top right corner. Like if you're on a phone and you don't see an eye on the top right corner, you might have to like pause the video. But pause the video. There should be an eye in a white circle on the top right corner. Click on that little eye and you should have a little poll that you can vote on. Which one should we go to first? The Woodland Mansion or the Ocean Dungeon? Be sure to cast your vote on which one we should go to next. And then I guess next episode we can further prepare for those uh, upcoming adventures. But speaking of such, I do want to see if that, uh, that, 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 that turtle helmet is going to give us any uh, any new trades now that we've done, or uh, not trades, but any new enchantments now that we've already done a few enchantments beforehand. I wonder if it's the same ones. Fire Protection 3 <laughs> on a heckin' helmet like this, sheesh. Unbreaking 2 there and Protection 1, yeah, that kind of sucks. So I suppose we'll have to, to probably rely on getting uh, getting enchantment books and, and trying to get some good enchantments out of those. So maybe, maybe that'll be something I could do off camera between this episode and next episode. But like I said earlier, be sure to cast your vote on which one we should go to first, the Woodland Mansion or the Ocean Dungeon. And then uh, next episode, we're probably going to leave on that adventure to either one of those. So, oh gosh, I think I... <gasps> Traveling Trader over here! Oh man, he's inside of the thing! What in the world? How'd he get inside of here? 
Did you just spawn inside here or something? <laughs> Nautilus shell, dark oak sapling. Hey, look at that. that. That's a pretty good way of getting dark oak saplings if uh, it was like episode 5 or whatever, right? <laughs> but 5 is, speaking of 5, 5 emeralds for that, golly. That's a heckin' ripoff. <laughs> Same thing there. 2 emeralds for 1 glowstone? Golly. Who's gonna actually trade that? I'm like, 3, three emeralds for packed ice? Maybe that'd be good. I, 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 I think you guys said, yeah, use ice. Uh, like, oh gosh. I thought our fox was like on the loose right there. He's like ice in the nether to actually get like flowing water in the nether or something like that, right? So maybe maybe that'd be pretty valuable in that regard, but right now, yeah, I don't think any of those trades are pretty good. <laughs> to be quite honest, I think they're all trash. This guy grew up- Oh god, he did! Uh, he doesn't have an occupation though, so kind of want to let him outside. And then, uh, oh god, whoa, whoa. He turned- oh, oh, that's good, okay, he turned into a butcher, that's good, you guys. I think I mentioned earlier on, saying, hey, yeah, I, I want him- I want to have a heckin' butcher, uh, guy. Rabbit stew right there. And, uh, looks like we have a butcher. I don't know if I actually mentioned it or not, but, uh, why are these guys still having a party over here? I have no idea, but, uh, I'm not complaining. Because <laughs> it's- it's easy for me to find all the villagers if we're all just kinda hanging out next to the bell, right? So that's pretty good. Speaking of bell, I guess I'll just do my outro and the video. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll about my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. And while you're hitting that subscribe button, be sure to hit that bell <laughs> to turn on post notifications. That way you get a notification as soon as the video goes up, and you can comment first before anyone else can. So thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Minecraft Hardcore. Be sure to cast your votes on the top right corner, and next time we come back, we're going to be leaving on that adventure to either the Woodland Mansion or the Water Temple. So I'll see you guys then with some more Minecraft Hardcore Season 1. Oh bye there.